I'm Jason Lamb. I'm the Clay County Agricultural Extension Agent and today we're going to do the Egg to Chick program. Normally we would do the Egg to Chick program in every third grade classroom in the county. But this year because of the COVID-19 outbreak we're going to do a video on Facebook and let you guys participate and be a part of it. And we'll get to see the chicks develop, how they develop, and all the information that we need to know to, a, to be able to raise baby chicks. When we're talking about chick development, we've got 12 eggs here ready to be incubated. And chickens have all different types of eggs. You'll have white eggs, you can have little eggs, you can have eggs uh, that are green or brown lots of different eggs and all those different colors come from different breeds of chicken and different sizes of chickens when we're looking at the egg it's hard to believe that everything that baby chick needs to develop is inside that egg when you look at an egg you probably look at it and you say breakfast but it's not really breakfast everything that that baby chick needs to develop is inside here so if we look at the parts of the egg, what does that baby chick need to develop? Okay, that baby chick needs protection. What offers protection? Well, that's the shell. The shell offers protection for that baby chick. Also, that ba baby chick needs food, right? So food is that yellow yolk that's inside there that we see when we're eating breakfast or a fried egg in the morning. Well, that baby chick eats that for food. They also need water. So the albumin, or the white yolk on the outside of this, provides water for that baby chick so that they can develop. Also, if you look over here, when they get a little older, they'll need air, okay? And there's an air space or an air cell here on the end of that egg that they can get air from, okay? So if you look at the parts of the egg, they have everything that they need to develop inside there. So how many days does it take to hatch out a baby chick? Well, it takes 21 days. Now, is that a hard number? Well, it can take 22, maybe 23 sometimes, but really 21 days is when you'll see the development happen. And you'll see some sign normally at 21 days that that baby chick's developed. Okay, so when we're looking at the development, what's happening inside that, that egg? Well, on day one, you've got two little tiny cells inside that shell, and they're starting to develop, and that's when the heart will start. Okay, I've got some pictures here to show you. Now, these pictures are kind of graphic, and if you don't like seeing bad pictures, well, please look away but they really show you what's happening inside that egg. So on day one, this is what it looks like. It looks like any egg that you've ever seen, okay? Big yellow yolk that really looks shiny and you don't see much happening there. On day four, we can see some development happening. It kind of looks like a, a spider web, okay? We see lots of veins starting to pop out. We see a big red spot in the middle, which will be our baby chick. In a couple more days, we'll be able to see that. And this is on day four. Now on day eight, if you really look at this picture, we can see that the baby chick is right here and it's developed eyes and wings. Kind of looks like a tadpole at, the, at this point, okay? but it's getting big enough that you can really see that something's happening. And if we candle the eggs, we can really see a lot of veins developing and we can see that uh, something is happening in, inside that egg. <clears throat> On day 10, if you look real close, we've seen that our baby chick has probably developed twice as big as the last picture, right? We really see those veins all over the place. This is when our uh, egg tooth is developing. You can really see the eyes, the wings, and the feet in this picture. 
and lots of veins. Lots of veins means that we have lots of development going on and that they're helping. Now on day 14, we have this picture, okay? You can see all of them, that that chick's really coming on, okay? This is day 14 again. You can see the egg tooth, you can see the talons developing on his feet, you can really see the eyes, okay? And he's starting to consume that eight, uh, that yolk, uh, that's his, his food source. Now on day 17, we really see a lot, okay? Uh, and this is an important day. That baby chick is really filling up that inside that egg. You can see that he's developed a whole lot of feathers all over his body. His beak is almost uh, fully developed. And you can see his eyes there. And look at that yellow yolk. It's almost all gone. Well, this is the day that the baby chick uh, gets in position to hatch out. This is when they're starting to, to move around and get in the right place so that they can get out of that egg. Uh, on the 21st day. Then on day 21, that's the day they hatch out, okay? They'll start with a small hole in one of the ends of the egg and start pecking their way out, and they'll come out uh, during that time. Now, they don't really look this, help, this nice and fluffy when they come out. They look like they've been in water, okay? So their feathers are all damp and wet and everything. But, uh, but really, day 22, they'll look like this. They'll fluff up pretty fast, and then they look nice and cute. So how do we hatch out baby chicks in the classroom? Well, can we have a hen and bring her in? Well, she's pretty distracting if we're going to have the hen in the classroom. And it's hard to find a good laying hen that will actually sit on her, her eggs for a long period of time. And... She also needs her privacy too, so that's hard to do. So what we use is an incubator. So we put everything into this machine that those baby chicks need to be able to hatch them out. And there's lots of different types of incubators, but this is the one that we use uh, for all of our programs. And the number one thing that it does is it keeps the temperature up. So those baby chicks need a certain temperature to develop. And that's actually 99.5 degrees, okay? So they need a constant temperature at 99.5 degrees throughout their whole development to be able to hatch out, all right? And that's what this incubator provides. The other most important thing about this incubator is the humidity and how well it's maintained. So baby chicks need 50% or more humidity. Well, wait a minute, what do you think humidity is? Well, humidity is the moisture in the air. So if you are taking a shower and you see all that moisture floating around in the air in the shower, well, that's what humidity is. Well, we need that in here as well. So, and we need it to be at 50% up until the 17th day for that baby chick to develop right, okay? So we also do that with here by adding water into our machine. Another thing that we look at that the hen does naturally is she'll turn those eggs ever so often about four or five times a day okay and we actually have an egg turner and it rocks those eggs back and forth very slowly and gently to keep those baby chicks developing right if they doesn't have the egg turner or they're not turned ever so often those baby chicks will could get stuck to the side wall of those eggs and they'll stop developing. So that's a problem that we could have if we don't have any, uh, an egg turner or at least turn them about five times a day. What we also have in here is we have a hydrometer and it's another way to keep our temperature gauged and our humidity so we can keep track of our temperature and our humidity. In the bottom of this incubator we have water reservoirs that we have to add water to to keep that humidity up, okay? And also on the top of this incubator, you can see that it has <clears throat> another uh, hydrometer up here. 
and it'll say its temperature and the humidity there. And it keeps track of that for us too. So we like to double, double do it so that we really know what the humidity and the temperature is when we're hatching out these baby chicks. And how long do we do it for? 21 days. Okay, when we're trying to find out what's happening inside that egg, we can't simply just crack it open and see what's inside there, right? Because that's going to stop everything and it's going to kill what's ever happening in there. We don't want to do that. But there is a way to look inside there, and it's called candling. Basically, we use a flashlight or a candling. There's lots of different types of candlers out there, but we use a, a bright light to shine inside the egg and we turn the lights off so we can see what's inside there so if you look at this egg you can really see that there's not much going on this is day one we shouldn't be able to see anything in there right now if there was then there'd be a problem wouldn't there but on day one these eggs have only been sitting at room temperature for the last couple of days when they were collected we never put them in a refrigerator or anything so that they'll develop okay so that's candling and it's really cool that we can see inside that and next week and the following weeks we'll see that development happen happening and really see some cool things happen okay guys we've gone ahead and put our eggs in the incubator we numbered them first so that we can tell which one is which so we have 12 eggs, we numbered them from 1 to 12, okay? And maybe at home you can keep track of which ones are doing good and which ones are doing bad. One thing we want to, uh, to caution you guys all on is not to decide which, like number seven, I'm rooting for number seven. Well, if they don't develop, we're gonna be really disappointed, aren't we, okay? We don't know which ones are gonna develop. And a lot of times, these baby chicks won't, they won't develop all the way. They'll go halfway and then for some reason, they quit developing. And we gotta prepare ourselves for that, okay? Not all these baby chicks are gonna hatch out. If we get one or two, we're gonna be really happy with that, okay? We'd really like to get all 12, but that's not always possible with hatching out baby chicks. A lot of this is out of our control and we really, just have to hope for the best and we cross our fingers and hope that we have as many hatch out as we can. You gotta remember one thing is that how many baby chicks do we have right now? We have zero, okay? So if we get one or two, that's great success, isn't it? So that's what we're doing here and we're gonna hope, hopefully get 12 baby chicks. But in reality, I think maybe six would be a good number coming out of 12. So, hope for the best, and we'll do what we can, right? Well, thank you for being with us today. This ends our first session of the Egg to Chick program here in Quay County. We'll have them every Thursday from, for the next four weeks, and we hope that you tune in and learn more about the Egg to Chick and developing chicks here in Quay County.